H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. All right, so in our last session, we talked about how you're going to create a, a Maven project. Uh, Maven is a build management tool. So there are different ways, like how we can run uh, even the Selenium test from Jenkins. So one way is like you can use uh, the command and execution, and you can also use the Selenium grid to run the Selenium test. And you can also use the Maven, pro Maven project to run the test. So that's why, like, see, we what we did in uh, in our last session is uh, we created this uh, Maven project. Um, probably let's let's quickly create that. Um, so this is what like you got to do. Um, say file, new project. Then you selected this Maven project and hit next. And you're going to accept the default ones and okay, next. And here, like you're going to provide uh, uh, the group ID and artifact ID. Something like, say I'm going to mention so like say group ID is um, QA test and say demo. Finish. What's the form file? Okay, let's change this one. So once I mentioned that uh, group ID, so it's going to create um, this. Um, Structure and now we are going to see it's still doing. Let it finish. Okay, so it's done. And so this word actually like the Maven comes with the uh, pom.xml. And if you open this, so basically like it's going to have. Okay, so this is an XML file. So that contains basically like um, what is that uh, uh, group ID like we created, right? It's going to maintain all the things, and then it also contains the framework like the JUnit kind of thing. So then, once you're done with this, okay, let's um, order the test that we already have. So let me copy. Uh, those things here. Okay, so I'm I'm just uh, copying this package what we created in our last session. Just copy and put it here. See this sort actually the by default is going to create a test in the Maven project. Okay, then you can also create your um, own test. So I'm copying the that package here so that contains a test okay so this is the test and basically like see uh, because nothing is uh, we could just created a project but uh, the you see like there are some errors because the selenium libraries are not associated to this project and also like the JUnit um, also not associated. So let's uh, associate first this Selenium the function libraries. Okay. 
Okay. So go to this properties. Then Java build path. So I add uh, those Selenium libraries, external jars. And you go to the Selenium Java and libraries. So let's associate these libraries. Okay, and this library and also server. Okay, so those are the Selenium related stuff like we associated to the project. So now you see some of those errors are gone. But still you're seeing here um, there's one more error. Because uh, like we we used uh, for this particular test, test ng framework, that's why you see like this particular annotation is uh, not recognized. You have to add that test ng library also. So that you got the test ng library and the Selenium reference libraries are associated to this project. Okay, and then so let's try to run this Maven project because that has just only this particular test and Let's try to run so right click on this Pondred XML and build Okay, run as a Maven test So basically the test is very simple. It's going to use a Chrome Chrome driver then it's going to open this this website gmail.com we are using chrome driver um, okay so here let's see what error it seems like it's giving error um Package what is selenium doesn't exist. Okay. So what happens is sometimes when you when you're trying to build this on red XML, right? See uh, Maven is going to store a repository into this folder like wherever if you go to the C users and um, Go to this system to dot dot m2 folder and you see there is a repository so because if you already have a Maven project from if you have a different Maven project, right? It's, it's going to build this repository because we just created a new Maven project, right? Just let's try to delete this repository from this folder. Most of the time, like you get this repository is created under C users, and this is your system name, okay? And then dot empty folder. So let's try to delete. You see, that's what mainly like because this repository is using this project so that's why it's saying um, it cannot delete that because it's in use so what we do is let's try to close this Eclipse then try to delete that repository okay and then open Eclipse again because it's always just to make sure like um, if there is a repository that's already created whenever you build this uh, Maven project make sure that you clean that repository and then let's start this project again
okay so just open the workspace Okay, so let's build the project one more time. Hopefully, like this time, you don't see the errors. So go to this Selenium test project and form that XML. Right click and so run as Maven test. So just because in our in our last session we discussed, right? It should be um, the JDK okay you see now it's downloading and it seems like the things are working now so something like what happens is if you have that uh, repository already then this what most of the time it uh, it caused the problems see now so your build is success okay just move and test So now, how we are going to run this um, test from Jenkins, right? Because you already have this uh, pomrad XML. All you're going to use just use this pomrad XML in the Jenkins. So basically, like, uh, from the Jenkins, okay. So what you have to do is see, like, once you uh, open the Jenkins. Then here, like you need to configure a um, couple of things before you run this Maven project from Jenkins. So go to this uh, Jenkins and manage Jenkins. You go to this uh, global the tool configuration. Basically, you have to set Maven and uh, Java paths. Go to this the global tool configuration. Then here you see um, JD cancellations, right? So you have to select JD cancellations, and so here, like you're going to mention, um, so like where is your JDK? So like, see, so basically, like what you can do is see this. Is what actually you see initially, and click on this JDK, and here you have to mention hey, where is this um, JDK is installed. So you can you can select something like this, uh, say say Java Home, okay, and then uncheck this checkbox. Then here you have to mention uh, what is that path like where the Java is installed on your system. Like say if you go to the C program files Java JDK. So this is the path. Here to mention here the Java home. Okay. And then next thing is like here to mention um, Maven installations. Right? Basically, like you're pointing out where the Maven is and Java is on installed on your system. What is Maven installations? You do the same thing. Okay. So here you can you can put um, add Maven. And so you can say maybe in home. So then you can uncheck this checkbox. Then you have to mention the path here. Okay. So that path is going to be so maybe in path, right? Because we downloaded it here and you have to set. So that's the maven path. So you have to set the Maven and uh, the JDK paths, okay, and save it. It comes under the 
this um, managing Keynes global tool configuration. And here, like you see, those two sections, JDK and Maven installations. So once you set these two things, right, and then now you can create a Maven project, send new item. Then you're going to select, so probably whenever just you start Jenkins, you may not see this option, Maven project. Then what you have to do is you're going to install that plugin because that plugin don't get installed by default with Jenkins. If you go to the manage Jenkins and manage plugins, right? If you go to this section and maybe just you can search for, um, because I already installed, if you go to this install section, right? What plugin you're going to install is uh, the Maven integration plugin. So this one. So you have to you have to install this Maven integration plugin. Okay, just all you have to do is um, go to this available section and then search for Maven integration plugin, then install it. Then after that, right? Once you install that plugin, then only you see here whenever you create a new job, then you see this option. Maven project otherwise it won't display here then you're going to mention here uh, for that uh, project job name right say so I'm going to say selenium demo test so that's the job name select the Maven project and hit OK And then, so here you're going to select, um, just straightforward, go to this uh, build step. See, here you have to mention the pom.xml, where, where that, uh, go to this, right, go to the Eclipse, then right click, and you can show in the system explorer, so that it gets you that path. So this way, like you were, the palm red XML is located. Copy this path and then put it in the Jenkins. So that's the path. Okay, where the palm red XML is located. So it's the same thing. See, basically, like see here, like you ran this one, right? Right click and run as Maven test. So that's where you're pointing the, to this palm red XML here in the Jenkins. Then save this. So your project is uh, ready, and then we're going to build it. Okay. So it, um, it's going to run now. And if you look at um, the console, console output, right? It's going to tell uh, how your project is building. You see, so that we know. So it says like the build is um, success, and then you see, say successful that's the like you're going to run even um, this the, the silent test part of this movement project even from Jenkins instead of running in standalone you can also run from Jenkins so that each time you run then it's going to um, even produce these results right then so you also see a graph kind of thing That means uh, across different builds, how these things are executed. Okay. 
So here, like it's showing like how many times the the, the test is executed, and then the test results. Right? So how many? Just there is one one test, right? That's, that get passed. That's why like you can you can put in this project, right? What else just that you want to put it uh, so that it's going to run all the tests. So that way, just you're going to upload this because you're already pointing to this form.xml. So as and when, like you add different tests to this um, source, right? Then all the tests get executed for all this form.xml. So that's uh, basically like how you can integrate even the Maven project from Jenkins. So, any questions? Otherwise, like, so, uh, what we're going to do is um, just I would like to I like you to install this SVN, this is source uh, source control, like the version controlling tool. So we're going to use this one as a um, source control management SVN subversion. And then, so we're going to integrate this one also with Jenkins so that the Jenkins is going to get all the latest uh, tests. But suppose like if you make any changes to the test, right? So how are you going to do these check-ins and check-outs using this subversion? So we're going to do that um, by integrating with Jenkins. So that's what like I'm going to do that particular topic uh, maybe in our next session, the version controlling system. Okay, because um, 